Hi, hey, welcome to Rooftop X Mini So Tabletop X. I'm Ben. I'm Bryn. And today we've got a lot to talk about. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know where to start. You start. Okay, I have a lot to talk about. Probably a bit more than you by the looks of our lists. Um, first thing I want to talk about is one of my favorite pieces of news I heard this week. A rapper named Fly Young Red. Um, he is an openly gay rapper who released a song that became quite an internet sensation on accident called Throw That Boy Pussy. Oh. But it's about asses. Yeah. Boy pussy. Uh Uh-huh. So he made this because he was tired, according to the interview that I'll link down in the description box, he made this because he was tired of, you know, going to gay clubs and everyone dancing to songs like pretending they weren't talking about straight relationships. Uh He's like, I just want to make a song about fucking dudes because I like dick and I'm a guy. Um, And so... And I like it when guys throw their boy pussies. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, there's an episode about... uh, (laughs) um, Oh, this... (laughs) Throw that prolapsed anus. God, it's it's pretty intense. It's a good video. It's hilarious. It's 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 over the top on purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's lampooning. This like, is rainbow colored and could be a prolapsed anus that's made for throwing at gay clubs. I don't think that that happens <laughs> to gay men very often. Um, anyway, it's um, this is notable because, or to me, it's notable because Lil Wayne. His label, him and Birdman, have a label called Young Money, Cash Money, Billionaires, uh, or YMCMB. And they signed him to Young Money. Mm -hmm. Um, So he's the first openly gay rapper on a major hip-hop label. I mean, there's Leaf and Cakes Killer and Mickey Blanco, who are all, you know, there's queer rappers, but this is the first openly gay rapper to be in, like, the scene. Um, so it's pretty fun and interesting. Uh, you should check it out. Um, I also want to talk about some new records. I'll try and go through these really quickly um, that are have either been announced or are out now. The Antlers is a band that I really enjoy. Um, I don't know if you... Do you like The Antlers? I don't think I know them. They're really good, really slow, but like um, kind of ambient-y. Um, Anyway, they've got a new record coming out in June called Familiars. Uh, Girl Talk has mm-hmm. a new EP out with a rapper named Freeway called Broken Ankle. Um, I haven't heard it yet, but I'm excited about it because I like Girl Talk. It's a fun little... It's basically like a game. The fun thing about Girl Talk is like you kind of just want to see how many different songs you can hit while just listening to it. Yeah, we used to work with a guy who's... That was his favorite artist. That's weird. It was girl talk. I don't know if I could like ever see myself listening to it like honestly. Remember when we looked at his phone to see what music he had on there? He liked oh. he liked all mashups and girl talk. Yeah. And he and he claimed to not know the, who the Cure was. He claimed and he had Cure on his phone. Yeah, he claimed to not know who the Cure was, and he was like, "Oh yeah, that band. Oh yeah, he was a weird guy." Anyway, um, maybe he'll watch this. <laughs> he might. Um, uh, other records. Oh, Mira, who is a K Records artist. Just heard about her today and heard a sample song on NPR and it sounded amazing. I've loved a lot of her records. She records with um, the guy who's in the microphones in Mount Erie. He mm-hmm. runs K Records. Um, I heard a song called Goat Something. What was it called? Uh, I forget. Anyway, she has a new record coming out in a few very soon. Yeah. More information in the description box. Changing Light is the name of the album. That's right. Uh, and the song is called... <laughs> I'm not seeing it. No. It's called Goat Something. Right. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> um, Goat Shepherd. I also can't remember the name of the... Oh, Phil. Anyway. Whatever. He records her. I don't know if he's going to be working on this album, but his production is incredible. Her records advisory committee are really beautiful. Um, She has a lot of good records. You should check her out if you don't know Mira. And uh, check out her new song. 
Um, also, Willis Earl Beal is a rapper um, who kind of came out of nowhere um, last year. I saw him play in Brooklyn um, opening for someone totally different. It was sort of a surprise, but he was really interesting. He has this like Elvis love, like like emulation thing, but he's a mm-hmm. rapper and he's like a soul singer rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, he released a, rec- a like, out of the blue Death Grips Beyonce style um, just I think today. This is the second record that he did this way called Curious Cool. Um, from what I've heard, it's really cool. Um, one more thing. Avi Terre from Animal Collective. I didn't know he's coming out with a new record, but all of a the sudden there's a new Avi Terre record that's a not Avi Terre record, but a new band called Slasher Flicks um, with one of the guys from Ponytail and Dirty Projectors. Um, and it's like a power trio. So it's kind of, I think... It sounds like um, kind of like feels. Um, I want to sit with it before I really talk about it, but that's kind of exciting. I liked his last one, um, his last solo project. And All those right. are new records. Cool. Here's a record that I just picked up. It's a reissue from something from, uh, um, I don't know if you can see that, Skull Snaps. This is an amazing cover. Yeah, I saw that in the record store, saw that it was reissued. It's from the late 60s, early 70s. I'm not really? sure exactly when. Um, you'll never guess what kind of music is on this. I'm guessing... I thought from the cover that it would... Because I didn't know who the Skull Snaps were. New Wave, right? I was guessing like metal or goth or something. It's soul. This is soul. It's late it? 60s soul music huh. and funk. Look at this fucking interior. This is ridiculous. This yeah. Is... <laughs> and it's it's pretty straightforward, it's, but it it teeters on a little bit of weirdness. So it's not really dark or... Mm-mm. It's just like typical 60s soul and funk, but it has a twi- just a twinge of weirdness, like a little bit of a weird edge to them. Just, you like it? Just, yeah, I love it. Um, just some odd sound choices and, and a song sort of usually open with some sort of flourish of like where you like don't even know what you're in store for and then this like funk groove kicks in and you're like what a weird band <laughs> that's really strange so I don't know what Skull Snaps is a reference to it must be I'm guessing some sort of 60s 1960s slang or drug yeah who knows but look at that cover wouldn't you guess that's like metal or goth or something I would have thought it was like a like an 80s <clears throat> hardcore band mm-hmm. or, or yeah something harder than Fucking it's interesting though. It's worth checking out. I, I recommend it. And Ooh, then, I'm excited to listen to it. And then there's a bunch of shows coming up. A lot of bands that we've reviewed in past episodes also, oh, wait, finally wait. have shows coming up. Oh, really? Let mm-hmm. me um, mention, I just bought the Recoil album. The Recoiled album yeah. that uh, we talked about last episode. Um, I just bought it on Picture Disc, but it hasn't come in the mail. So I'm excited about it. Cool. Can't wait to hear it all. So Bye. the Julie Ruin, which has been getting a lot of uh, buzz on Facebook today. I don't know what happened yesterday that everyone's talking about the Julie Ruin today. Does anybody know why people are talking about the Julie Ruin today? They must have been on a show, but we reviewed them on, in one of our December episodes. Mm-hmm. So, welcome to the party, everybody. They're going to be playing... Yeah, and we recorded it in fucking yeah. this summer. Yeah. They're going to so be playing gonna... Asbury Lanes in Asbury Park, New Jersey cool. on April 12th. That's this Saturday, I think. Yeah, it's this Saturday. Yeah, I'm not going to Jersey, but... Holly Go Lightly and the Broke Offs playing the Knitting Factory. I don't think we've ever reviewed them, but we've... Yeah, they have a new album out, which uh, I haven't heard yet. It's uh, that's April 16th. They're also going to be playing a free gig at Rough Trade. Oh, cool. Somewhere around in the same week. Uh, White Hills, who I've talked about in uh, extensively because of the movie premiere, which I have now been to, and it was amazing. I saw them live. I just heard White Hills last night. They were really good. Mm-hmm. Ben knows what's up. So they're going to be playing St. Vitus on April 24th. That's a Thursday. And I will be there. I will probably also For be sure. There. Yeah. Uh-oh, I lost my connection. Um, also upcoming, uh, as soon as it loads, I'll tell you the date. Courtney Barnett has got two gigs in a row. Really? Music Hall Williamsburg and Barry Ballroom. Here we go. Um, oh, Obits are coming up. Have you ever seen Obits? They're like a, a, a just a balls out rock band. Yeah. 
They're playing at the Wick, which I've never heard of. Tennis is coming up the Music Hall at Williamsburg and oh, opening awesome. for Haim at Terminal 5. You ever heard Haim? No, but I heard a lot of buzz about them last year. Yeah. Licky Lee at the Apollo Theater. I think I mentioned that one before. King Kong and the Shrines. The Governor's Ball is coming up. King Kong and the Shrines again. We're going to that. Uh, Courtney Barnett, uh, June 14th and June 17th. Cool. Little Dragon, Little Dragon, two dates for Little Dragon. Pokey Lafarge, who we talked about on the last mini-sode. This is in July now. It's going to be playing in July at Bowery Ballroom, and Justin Timberlake's going to be playing in December at Barclay Center. We'll be recapping those when we go to I'm going to hit all those shows You're going to hit every single one. Yeah. Uh, last thing I wanted to talk about was that, while we're on shows, um, God Flesh, Cut Hands, which is... Um, one of the members from White House. If you like noise music, you'd know White House. Um, and um, Pharmacon, who's a Brooklyn artist. She's just one girl. It's fucking intense. I have. It's one of the most intense shows I've ever seen. Up there with like Swans. They were talking about her on NPR Death today Grubs. too. Really? People on NPR. She has a single Pharmacon. coming out uh, on oh, Re- the, Record Store Day. Nancy. Uh, yeah, Nancy Sinatra. Sinatra song. song. Um, she is a sight to behold live. I I'd like to see that. It. I'm going, uh, she's playing with Godflesh. It's sort of an expensive show. It's at Irving Plaza. It probably mm. won't be as... Well, I saw her at a bar called um, Baby's Alright in Brooklyn. And it, she was just like... She was lassoing people with her microphone wow. cord and like dragging them and screaming into the microphone as that was happening. Mm-hmm. Um, screaming into people's faces. It was it was quite amazing. So hopefully, it reaches that level of nuts. Yeah. Um, all of those bands are really crazy. So, I'm going to that on Thursday, this Thursday. So, two days from now. Went and saw a show last night. Went and saw uh, the sounds. Mm-hmm. Um, I was not familiar with them. My friend brought me to them, but I checked out a few of their singles before I went. The mm-hmm. song I think their first single was called "Living in America" or something. Which is uh, not the James Brown song. No, no, uh, they're a Swedish band, and they uh, sound a little bit like the Cars and a little bit like Blondie. Oh, fun! Um, and they you should check out their song "Living in America." They have a lot of singles, but that's the first one you should hear because that one is the best, I think. Cool. All right. Well, that was the mini sode update um, news. Thing. No jokes. Yep. Nothing was funny. No comedy here. Um, we had a lot of fun doing it. We'll be back probably in a few days. Don't worry about it. We'll be back. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Subscribe to the fucking channel. Yeah. Comment on our fucking videos. Like our fucking videos. This isn't a this isn't a request anymore. You have to do this. Yeah. If there's a record you want to see Lucas dance to. Send it, send us a, send us some suggestions. Right, I'm sorry for being something that's though. come out recently. Yeah, please, we'll, we'll try and review it. Make it something you don't think a lot of people know about. Right, we'd love to hear new music. Yep. All right, and until next time, top, top of, the of the world, world to you. you.